hogs, smack cereal, those better and ever puffs of wheat that are sugar toasted and candy sweet. Kellogg Sugar Smack. Brand new Kellogg Sugar Smack. Today, Kellogg Sugar Smack, those better and ever puffs of wheat that are sugar toasted and candy sweet, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Jingles Settles Down. <laughs> They're better than ever pups of wheat. They're sugar toasted and candy sweet. Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. Sugar Smacks are smacking good when you eat them out of your bowl for breakfast. And they're smacking good when you eat them out of the box for a snack. And these delicious sweet puffs of wheat are double charged with energy from both wheat and sugar. So for a smackin' good breakfast treat and a snack that's really neat, you want the better never puffs of wheat, sugar toasted and candy sweet, Kellogg's Sugar Smack. <laughs> United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles spent most of their time riding the trails of the Old West on the business of the law, and danger rode with them. But they didn't suspect danger to follow them, too, when the riding is over and Jingles settles down. I'm still hungry, Bill. After all that food? Oh, no, I didn't eat so much, Bill. Charlie, uh, fry me another couple of pork chops and three or four more eggs before I have my dessert. Where are you going to put them? You ate three of the Blue Plate special dinners already. You just let me worry where to put them. Now, just start frying and don't argue with the customers. You know, Jingles ought to buy his own cafe, Charlie. It'd be cheaper than eating in yours and having to pay for all that food. Well, he can buy this one awful cheap. I'm going to get out of the cafe business and go back to prospecting. No, now, you don't mean that, Charlie. You've been threatening to sell out for the last five years. Yeah, but this time I mean it. Tired of being cooped up in here with only a hot stove. Well, I thought you liked your work, Charlie. Well, I like cooking, but there's always something happening to take all the fun out of it. Place catches fire or some customer don't like my coffee and takes a poke at me. Yeah, it ain't worth it. I'll sell out awful cheap. Here's your eggs and pork chops, Jingles. Thanks. Uh, uh, how cheap is awful cheap, Charlie? Huh? You interested or just curious? I'm interested. How much you want for the cafe? Now, wait a minute, Jingles. Wait a minute, nothing, Bill. Now, I'm dickering a business deal with Charlie. Now, let me alone. Well, how's $200 sound you? Well, it sounds pretty good. Jingles, you haven't got $200. I have so. I still got my share of the reward money from catching those bank bandits up in Colorado. Locked up in the bank in Abilene. By golly, that's right. Yeah, nice little cafe, Jingles. Does a good business. And Cold River's an up-and-coming town. But, Jingles, you don't want to tie yourself down to a cafe. Now, look at here, Bill Hickok. I ain't getting any younger, and I can't go on forever busting around the country with you getting shot at and beat up by owls. Now, look, Jingles, you don't know anything about running a business. Oh, I don't, huh? Charlie, supposing I buy the place, when can I take over? Right this minute, if you want to. Then it's a deal. <laughs> but I'll have to get the money for you later. Yeah, that's all right with me, Jingles. Your word's good. Shake. <laughs> well, shake. <laughs> well, that does it. But I still think you're local, Jingles. Oh, you do, huh? Well, I'm the owner now, and I don't have to pay for them three dinners I ate or for these pork chops and eggs I'm going to eat now. So there. <laughs> Made a profit already, and you said I didn't know nothing about business. <laughs> well, there now. It ain't a very good looking sign, but at least it says Jingles Cafe. <laughs> well, I'll get one painted as soon as the money starts coming in. I better get started on the cooking. Might have a whole lot of customers today. Well, howdy, gents. Here are the first customers today. That's nice. Yeah, real nice. Give us some coffee and be sure it's good and hot. Sure, two cups of coffee. Now, how about a couple of nice donuts? 
Just coffee. Oh, sure. Well, here you are. Good. You're uh, new here, ain't you? Yeah, I just bought out the business, and, well, I hope you drop in real often. Maybe we will. We're sort of in business, too. That's so? What kind? Well, you might call it the insurance business. Maybe you ought to have some insurance yourself. Never can tell what'll happen to a nice business like this. Well, how much does it cost? Oh, let's say $100 right now. Ooh, gee, that's an awful lot of money. And then $50 a month. Oh, that's too much. I don't think so. Old man Jones, who runs the general store, figured it was too much. But he changed his mind after he had a couple of fires and finally got his leg busted. You, you, you mean he's paying you those high prices now? That's right. And not a thing has happened to him since he started paying. Hey, I get it now. This is a shakedown. Ah, right, that's a shakedown. You're going to pay up, big boy, or do you want to get hurt? Now get out of my cafe, you low-down polecat. Get out before I throw you out. He's going to be stubborn, Pete. Let's go to work on You him. ain't going to work on me. I'll bust up both of you. Uh, Pete, slug him with somebody as strong as a bull. You're darn right I am, and I ain't going to do it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, thanks, Pete. It was giving me trouble. Yeah, he's out for a while. Good. Let's break the place up a little and teach him a lesson. Hey, know the fellow I like best at the circus, kids? It's the ringmaster with his big black whip and his big top hat. <laughs> Can't you just see him stepping into the spotlight? Hey, wouldn't it be fun to hear him on this program introducing Kellogg's Sugar Smacks, maybe like this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the greatest attraction ever to appear on the breakfast table, the one and only Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. These better never puffs of wheat are sugar toasted and candy sweet. <laughs> yes, sir. The ringmaster would have a wonderful time with sugar smacks, and so will you. Kellogg's sugar smacks are absolutely and positively double charged with energy from both wheat and sugar. And they are kept fresh and crack and crisp by an amazing inner wrapper of pure aluminum foil, even after they're open. Well, now, kids, I have just one thing to add to what that ringmaster would have said, and that's this. Be sure to get those better-never puffs of wheat, sugar-toasted and candy-sweet, Kellogg's Smackin' Good Sugar Smack! When Jingles bought a small cafe and settled down, he ran right into trouble. His first two customers tried to shake him down for protection money. And when he objected, they knocked him out and wrecked his cafe. Oh. He's coming around, Charlie. Hey, Jingles, wake up. Oh, oh, Bill, my head's busted. No, it isn't, but everything else in the place is. What happened? Oh, I don't know what happened after they knocked me out. Well, who was he? What was they after? Oh, they were a couple of two-legged coyotes, and they wanted me to pay them $100 protection money and $50 a month. The old shakedown business, huh? That's right. They ain't going to get away with it. I'm an honest businessman, and, and I'll have the law on them. Here, let me help you. Yeah. Well, the law's right here. Bill can run down them owl hoots for you. Sure, Jingles. You tell me what they look like, and I'll let you know if I run into them. Well, one of them was named Pete, and he was wearing a... Now, wait a minute. You let me know. Bill Hickok, you ain't going after them wrestling busters without me. You forget, Jingles. You settle down. You're a businessman now. Why, sure. You can't just saddle up and hit the trail anytime you want to. The heck I can't. And I'm still your deputy, Wild Bill Hickok. Me, Jingles, P. Jones, and nobody else. What about the cafe business, Jingles? Oh, the cafe business is for my old age when I settle down, and I ain't old and I ain't settled yet. <laughs> All right, partner. Let's set a trap for those two shakedown gents. Yeah, that's better. Now, what'll we do? Well, you get this place cleaned up and get ready for business again. I've got a hunch those two will be back to see if you've learned your lesson. Yeah, maybe they will, and we'll be ready for them. Well, P, 
Pete, we're getting the town whipped into line pretty good. Yeah, just a few businessmen are still stubborn about paying for our insurance. <laughs> They'll come around after they have a little trouble. Pull up here. Oh, there, boy, whoa. Whoa, oh, you hammerhead. Whoa, Rick. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. We still got the livery stable and the feed store. Don't forget that big buffo that just bought out Charlie's Cafe. He was real stubborn. I ain't forgetting him. I still got a lump on my jaw that you hung on me before you hit him with that chair. <laughs> Let's go talk to him first. He was mad enough to be waiting for us with a shotgun. If he starts any gunplay with us, he'll be signing his death warrant. One dead businessman would make the rest of them fall into line real quick. Uh, take a look through the window. Is he alone? Ah, there's an old geezer sitting at the counter. Maybe we better wait. Hey, I know who that is. That's Charlie that used to own the cafe. We can handle him, all right. Come on. Okay, but well, watch it. Hey, wait a minute. You're the two sidewinders. That's right, big boy. We're back again. Keep your hands on that counter and stand still. Pop, you sit right where you are. I ain't moving. Not with that cannon staring me in the face. Well, what do you want this time? Same thing we wanted before, money. Only this time, the price is a little higher. Yeah, to cover our expenses. What expenses? Well, for one thing, we just bought a fresh box of ammunition for these six guns thinking we might have to use some on you if you weren't of a mind to buy a little insurance from us. Why don't you just call this a stick-up and be done with it, you dab-burned road agents? Hey, careful, Jingles. They look like they mean business. We do mean business. Now hand over all the money in the place or we'll fill you full of lead as an example to the other businessmen in this town. And do what he says, Jingles. Oh, all right. That's better. Drop those guns. You're covered. Right. Pete! <laughs> Get rid of yours, too, unless you want to slug in your arm like a partner. Bill Hickok, I thought you'd never come out of that kitchen. Bill Hickok? Yes, Bill Hickok. Now put that other gun up here on the counter before he plugs you. All right, all right. And do it real easy. I am, I am. Come here, you. Hey, let go of me. Now, Hickok, I've got a gun in this old geezer's back. Pete and I are going out of here. And if you make one move to stop us, I'll plug him. Do what he says, Bill. All right, Charlie. Pete. And you're right, all right? Yeah, Hickok's slug just tore up my arm. Let's go. Back out the door and cut for the horses. Hickok, you stay here till we're gone or the old boy dies. Shorty means business, Bill. I know it, Charlie. All right, you two go ahead. But don't hurt Charlie or I'll hunt you down and plug you like a couple of rattlesnakes. Get going, Pete. Okay. Well, there they go, Bill. Can't help it, partner. We don't want Charlie to get shot. Well, we're going after him, though, aren't we? We sure are. Let's get out the back way and get our horses. We'll pick up that trail as soon as Charlie's safe. Think we're gaining on him, Bill? Sure we are, Jingles. But we should have stayed in town and waited for him. What do you mean? Well, we've been chasing them in a big circle. Now they're heading into town from the other end. Well, I'll be doggone. We've been riding so hard, I didn't notice where we were going. Wait a minute. This is a hill with all the oak trees on it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, here we are. Pull up. Let's take a look. Who have I got? Oh, oh, Joker, who? We're not far behind them, Jingles. I see the horses. Where? Right in front of Jingles Cafe. Oh, yeah. Now, I wonder what sort of devilment they're up to this time. I don't know, but they sure don't give up easy. Well, let's go after them. Hup, Buckshot, come on. Go, Joker. Let's get them tarantulas. He must be inside the cafe. That's right, and Charlie's in there, too. He said he'd watch the place while we were gone. When we get there, you head for the back door. I'll come in the front. We'll get him trapped this time. Yeah, and I'm going in shooting. Uh-oh, they're coming out, Bill. Yeah, and running for the horses. Now I'll stop them. Forget it, Jingles. It's too far away for a 45. Then I'll get closer. Jump, Joker. Hey, look. Here comes Charlie out from behind the cafe. Thank goodness he's all right, but he's sure running. Yeah, he's running this way. Must have heard your shot. Hey, he's waving his arms for us to stop. Oh, Joker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Hey, Bash. Hey, Bash. Don't go any closer. What's the matter, Charlie? Dynamite. Dynamite? Where? Inside. I sneak out the back when I seen them coming. They locked the doors. And... Oh, Joker. Oh, now oh, steady. Easy, buddy. Woo-wee. The whole building just come to pieces. Well, that's the end of Jingle's Cafe, Charlie. It sure is. That blast must have busted every coffee cup on the shelf and every egg in the icebox. That ought to 
show Hickok and that big hay bag jingles. Yeah, but they'll be hitting the trail after us. Where are we heading? Straight up into Box Canyon and leave an easy trail for them to follow. You crazy, shorty. Nope. <laughs> after what we did to that cafe, our insurance business is going to be better than ever. Now I know you're loco. After what we just did, we won't dare show our face in town. Hickok will be looking for us with both guns. He's probably looking for us now. But when he trails us to that spot in Box Canyon, that'll be the end of the trail. Oh, I get it. There's a perfect spot to hide up in them big rocks. That's right. And a perfect shot at Hickok and Jingles as they come up the trail. Cowpokes, think back a minute. Did you have fruit on your breakfast cereal this morning? Well, if you didn't, I'll bet it wasn't because you didn't want to. Most everyone likes fruit on his cereal in the morning, but sometimes a cowpoke like yourself doesn't have time to scout up fruit for your cereal, and you have to go without. Unless, of course, you sit down to a big bowl full of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the delicious cereal with the fruit right in the package. Tumbled all through those crisp golden bran flakes, you'll find lots of those honeycomb-coated raisins. What a flavor combination. Lots of folks say that Kellogg's Raisin Bran is practically a breakfast in itself. So why not ask your mom for a box or two of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the magic secrets right on the package backs next time she goes shopping. Tell her you want Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the fruit right in the packet. Famous Raisin Bran, get it today, as soon as you can, as soon as you can, as soon as you can. Kellogg's! While Bill Hickok and Jingles hit the trail after the two crooks who blew up Jingles Cafe, the trail headed into the narrow walls of Box Canyon, toward what Shorty called a perfect spot for an ambush. Bill, this here trail goes right up into the box canyon. That's right, Jingles, and they can't get out the other end, so we're bound to catch them. Well, this is almost too easy, following a big, plain trail like this. Them varmints running themselves right into a trap. Yeah, you're right, Jingles. It is too easy. Ooh, what, John? Ooh, oh, what? ho, Joker. What are we stopping for? Because, like you said, it's too easy. But I didn't mean for us to give up. I got nothing against catching crooks the easy way. Neither have I, Jingles. I just don't want to do it their way and maybe wind up with one of their bullets in me. Oh, you're talking riddles, Bill. Tell me in plain words now. What are you thinking about? All right. If we follow that plain trail into the canyon, we'll find those two lobos with the rifles poking over a rock and pointed right at our vest buttons. Oh, oh! And if we ride into their sights, it's liable to be the last riding we ever do. Are those words plain enough? Well, they're plain enough, but I don't quite like the sound of them. Then come on. Get around there, Buckshot. Well, move, Joker. Bill's up to something. We'll leave the horses down the trail and climb up over the canyon wall. It's going to be tough getting up there. Sure, but it'll be easy going down the other side. Well. We'll drop in on those dry gulches from a place they're not expecting. <laughs> Careful, Jingles. One slip and you slide all the way to the bottom of the slope. Well, if I do slip, I'll hit those two bushwhackers like a landslide and just squash them flat. Haven't seen us yet. They're standing there staring down the trail and waiting for us. Yeah, with their rifles ready just like you said. Watch it, Jingles. I slip, Bill. Yeah, you kicked a lot of rocks loose, too. Get on. <coughs> I thought that'd wake them up. Hey, they jump back at those big rocks, Jingles. You can't hit them now. I guess not, but they can't hit us either. Keep your head down. Stay behind those boulders. I know, but if we try to go down, they'll shoot us. And if we try to go back up, they'll shoot us. And if they stay behind those big rocks, we can't shoot them. And, well, it just doesn't seem like a square deal. Maybe we can square it up, Jingles. You see this big rock balanced up here on top? Yeah, what of it? Help me give it a push, and we'll start it rolling. Oh, now, Bill, this is no time to be playing games. Why not? We might as well have some fun. All right, get your shoulder up against the jingle. No oh, fun, he says, rolling rocks down the hill. Stop drumming and shove. Oh, all right. <laughs> shove them. <clears throat> hey! What you trying to 
to do up there? We're playing games. How do you like it? <laughs> I don't like it, Bill. You can't blame him. When that rock hit the bottom, it busted into little pieces like a cannon full of grape shot. Yeah, let's do it again. I'm kind of enjoying it after all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, you down there. Come out with your hands up or we'll roll half the mountain down on you. Come down and get us if you think you can do it. Well, we gave him a chance. Start pushing, Jingles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dragon Pete, and throw away your gun. All right, all right, I'll do it. He's giving up all right, Bill. Yeah, here he comes out in the open. And he's Dragon Pete. Hey, hey, we did get him with a flying hunk of that last one. Looks that way. All right, start down, Jingles, but keep your guns in your hand and watch Shorty every minute. Yeah, he's a tricky one, but he hasn't got poor old Charlie here to grab this time. Just stay right there till we get down, Shorty. You can move a little. About ten feet farther back from your gun. Don't, don't worry about me. I, I, I know when I'm licked. Well, it's about time. You've been licked ever since that first time you tried to shake me down in the cafe. Only you just keep coming back for more. Yeah. And if it hadn't been for you, we'd have had that town buttoned up tight by now. Oh, well, Pete's oh. waking up, Jingles. Better tie them both up tight. That'll be a pleasure. I'll start with this sidewinder here. Might as well search them, too. Sure. Hmm, no gun. Huh. Here's a big roll of money, Bill. Put it back, Jingles. It's his money. Oh, now, not all of it. I figured I'm entitled to $200 for my cafe that he blowed up. When we get him to court, you can sue him for damages, and the judge will see that you get your money. Really? Sure. Well, that's good. And then there was $12 for broken dishes and furniture and $9 in the cash drawer. Ah, oh, shut up. I don't feel like listening to your troubles. You'll listen and like it. And there's one thing more. The first time you and Pete came in, you had two cups of coffee and didn't pay for them. That's ten cents more. You tell them, Jingles. Get every nickel you got coming. I sure will. I'll get all my money back, and I don't have to worry about the cafe because the place is blown up, and that ten cents for the coffee is clear profit. Huh. Who says I don't know nothing about big business? <laughs> <laughs> Here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Andy, what kind of a story do we have for our friends on Wednesday? It's a humdinger, Guy, about a real different kind of an outlaw Bill and Jingles tangle with. We call it the Trail of the Cougar. So long, kids. See you Wednesday. <laughs> Open your mouth and shut your eyes. In Kellogg's Variety Pack, there's a grand surprise. Yeah! With Variety Pack, you get all your favorite Kellogg cereals, ten generous servings, each individually packaged fresh to you. You can take your pick of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, Sugar Frosted Flakes, and other favorites. Open your mouth, shut your eyes. When you choose from Kellogg's Variety Pack, you'll get a grand surprise. Get Kellogg's Variety Pack today. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Cliff Arquette, Frank Gerstel, and Hal Gerard. Our story was written and directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Ron. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg, the greatest name in serials. Reminding you to listen again on Wednesday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok! <laughs>